All right, printing press back here. Ah, so, got this for my buddy. I'm going to redo some things. The uh, base is a little wonky and a little ugly. So, I'm gonna build a new base for it. Went to the store yesterday and got some plywood. Now, I thought I had some two by fours laying around. Sadly, I only have one. Uh, and since lumber prices are ridiculous, I am going to take this big old pallet apart down here and I am going to mill that wood down. And I'm gonna use that wood to make the cabinet out of. <sighs> that was a lot of work. But I was gonna have to take that damn thing apart anyway, so I might as well use the wood. I'm running through the table saw right now, so I have some nice usable pieces, and then we'll start building. Whew, that was a nice mess. Now, it's time to start building that frame. Okay, the construction of this frame is done. It's incredibly sturdy, it's very square. And I added these pieces on the end that kick it out and then go back in. That way it doesn't look like just a regular old boring box. All right, it's time to start putting this thing together. Now, here's an example of one piece, the, the side piece. It's not attached yet, but it's gonna go on like so and I milled these nice decorative edge pieces on my table saw uh, at a purple heart. I just had some of it laying around. This will go right up here, and but right up against the plywood. And then I have that edge piece right there as well. So this will be on all, all four corners and it'll make for a real nice decorative edge. Right, another day. Got this thing all skinned. Looks nice and tight everywhere. So I mitered this angle here in. That's gonna be a nice detail. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna add these trim pieces that I made. So these will go basically like this. Nice and tight. All right, this thing's all skinned, looks good. It's all sanded, pretty much ready to go. The only thing I wanna do now, is before I add my casters to the bottom side, is I cut out these pieces here for each corner. That way they can have adjustable feet that go up and down, just in case it's on an unlevel surface. So let's do that right now. It's purple heart, right? Now, stuff will go right into here. So I'm gonna thread all the way in there. I only have to bring it out when I need to adjust for an unlevel surface that it's sitting on. That'll be right up against there, just like that. Okay, here's the old base. Here is the new one with its new shape. All right, it's got the casters on it so we can move it around. 
very sturdy, much more sturdy than that old thing. Right, now what I'm doing here is I have the rails clamped on just temporarily because I'm actually gonna cut them so they look a little bit better. So if you notice here, the rails are just squared and that's not gonna look very good, not with this new shape. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut every corner into this shape here. This angle is approximately the same as this one here. So that will bring a lot better style to this press and it won't look so clunky with this uh, squared off piece here. All right, I'm working on stripping all the parts down now before I get to painting. But I also have to strip down these rollers. Look how ugly this damn thing is. All right, here's what I have to deal with. This sucker right here, look how dirty it is. This guy here used to look just like this guy. Not good. So, got it all cleaned up. Gonna degrease it still, prime it, and get it ready for paint. There's a nice roller back there. It's nice and clean. Still got a little bit of work to do on that, but time to clean this guy. Okay, that was a chore, but I got all these parts cleaned up. Everything's nice and clean. This gears look new. I still gotta clean this chain, but that'll be later. So now, I can degrease everything, prime it, get it ready for paint. All right, got everything primed, ready to paint. So, time to spray. Now, as you can see here, this purple heart trim, I'm actually gonna continue all the way up. So I got the little corner piece set here, and this piece will actually go all the way up top. Now it'll follow this line here, right? Now the weird thing about this press, um, and I don't really know why they, bu they built it this way, uh, is that on the other side, you see how much we have about an inch that this sticks above here, the metal piece behind it. Other side <clears throat> is quite a bit lower. It's about not even a quarter of an inch. So here's the corner piece for this guy. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna ride right up along this piece of metal. And when I put the top piece of Purple Heart up here, this will actually act as the fence for the press bed. That way the press bed doesn't want to come this way. So what I have to do now is I have to mill the top pieces for this side and that side. After I get that done, then I can start assembling this thing, but I'm gonna move everything inside into the studio so we can do that. So I'm gonna mill those pieces and then we'll start moving everything inside. Here. So what I've done 
is I took the block out of here that I originally cut out and I've milled the back of it. That way I can actually put the cover right over everything, hiding everything. Now this spindle here is still gonna spin and you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> so now that I have this done for both sides, I can trim both sides out with my purple heart and finish this out. All right, here's what I have so far. If you look at my drawing. This piece here is at an angle. So we still have to cut the angles into this one. sanded, put the edges on it, just go right in here, nice and tight, then I made this because there's gaps under here that I don't want you to see, so this goes in here, this back part goes right here, back part, so this needs a little bit of work, but there you have it, and I just gotta trim out this piece here. Okay, that, now that this side is pretty much done, move on to the other side. So I've got this all done already. I have put the glue on it so the clamps are there holding it down. Now what's different about this side, that big old motor is gonna be installed right in here. So, here's the top gear. The motor will spin it in the roller and turn the bed. So, I gotta cut a box out here for the motor. cover this is getting closer and closer what I did since I need to have this removable is I have some magnets here that are gonna get attached right to that metal there so put this sucker on and stays on very nice Just a little wet Woo. all right motors installed Chains on, everything's secure, everything is tightened. So, it's time to put power to this thing. Uh, I got this new cord here that I ordered, made in America. And uh, I'm gonna install this. Looks nice and classic, like that old style of cord. And uh, I made this little walnut, sorry, not walnut, uh, purple heart detail piece that this cord is gonna be coming out of, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, another day. Now, this is a very crucial step. I'm gonna take these bearings and I'm going to strategically place them, strategically, strategically place them so they're the same height as the roller. That way the bed is on an uh, even uh, surface. So, I have to drill into this metal here that way I can attach these bearings for the bed to sit on. Time to measure and measure and measure again. All right, all the bearings are installed. I have four bearings on each side, so the bed is gonna be nice and level when it's going through the whole way. Uh, I also went ahead 
and brace this now that the inner cabinet is done. I brace the inside of it. That way when I move it around, it doesn't get all, you know, wonky on me. So now uh, what I did is I made these covers over here. They're gonna sit right here and they're gonna act as little shelving. That way I can put my mat board or uh, my, my press blankets on. Uh, some sort of little storage because there's a lot of room in between where the press bed's gonna be and right here. Plus, when the bed's moving back and forth, I don't want you to be able to see inside of the cabinet when the bed's over here. So that'll make it look nice and clean. All right, have this side installed. As you can see, I have it trimmed out in Purple Heart. I had some Purple Heart laying around. So, uh, I just lost power, what the hell? Anyway, uh, trimmed out in Purple Heart. If you look under the cabinet, it looks nice and clean. Everything's freaking resetting now. Uh, so when the bed comes over this way, it'll probably stop about here. So you'll never see inside of the cabinet. It'll look nice and clean. So I got this other piece laying over here and we'll install this side right now. All right, this thing's coming right along. Now, it's time to put that bed on. I gotta go cut the bed to size, and then I can bring it in here, and this will finally look like a printing press. Let's go cut the bed. Whew, it is hot out, yeah. All right, here's my bed. This is called Marine Board. It's super stable. It will stay flat all the time, no matter what. The problem with a metal press bed is that over time, it eventually starts to bow ever so slightly, no matter how thick it is. So, I'm gonna measure this out. I already have my track saw guide on, and I'm gonna cut this side, then I'm gonna cut it lengthwise. All right. The bed is done. Now what you didn't see is I cut some end pieces out of Purple Heart because you don't use the end of the bed anyway. Now since I had to screw these end pieces on, this is the bottom side of the press. So the, the pretty sanded side is this side. Now, rather than having holes here, I took some clear epoxy and I mixed up the epoxy with the Purple Heart dust that I had after sanding so much damn Purple Heart. So. When this is all cured, I'll go ahead and take all the tape off, sand it on all sides, and it should make for a pretty cool effect. All right, just like that. So the edges look very clean. All right, got this in the studio. Let's see if it works. So it's time to install the chain guard or cover. It had a really, really ugly one on it before. So this is what I got. Okay, so basically what I have here is a little frame that I made. Um, now this motor and the gears are popped out of the cabinet. So I had to create something that also pops out of the cabinet to make it look nice. Okay, now I have a little trim piece for this, so this will be covered. Um, now inside of this channel here is going to be this plexiglass. Now obviously this has um, some tape on it front and back, but I'll remove it and it'll be clear. And my brother Rick over at uh, Blanco Laboratories cut that out for me, the monogram. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. I pre-drilled my holes. Okay. So I have some real small screws. I'm gonna pre-drill my holes into the wood as well. And we'll attach it.
right, here it is. Got this nice little detail here. So, Rick at Blanco Laboratories had all this cut out on his Glowforge. So this is all laser engraved. Same with the wheels that we added on here at the end. So when this actually works, when it's functioning, this wheel spins with the motor, okay? This top wheel will spin as a wood block is going under it because this is only through pressure. You see that? So that guy will spin. Got the nice rulers that were also cut out by Blanco Laboratories. Got the nice little indicator here so we can see how high up we are, right? Made these nice little uh, adjusters here, nice and easy to turn. Everything's trimmed out in purple heart. All of these bolts and everything are now painted black. Okay, got the edge trimmed out in purple heart. Got our shelves underneath where we can set some stuff there. Okay. Also, what you probably didn't see in the video is I reinforced these sides. Okay. Now, this is the cool side here. The cool chain cover that we made, right? There's the monogram. Let's go, Alex. Right? Cord. And a nice hanger. All right. And that's about it. Works really well. I tested it and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. Works a lot better than the old press that I have and um, I'm able to print things a lot bigger on it, obviously, so. Looks pretty good in the studio. It's a new studio configuration. And obviously I can walk all the way around the printing press. And it's on wheels, so I can always move it around if I need to. There it is. Old school Alex, printing press. Thank you.